Hey, what's up? I wanted to discuss a very exciting and important topic. That is on 3-inch self-adherent gentle wrap. It sticks it itself, not to skin. Anyway, um, if, you had, if you've been watching some of my other videos, the one in particular called Six Ways to Minimize Shin Splints, uh, basically I suffered a really big injury to my left tibial area. I basically tore the muscle in half, and I've been using these um, self-adhering wraps around my shin area while running, which has helped tremendously. Unfortunately, between these two products, one is far more superior than the other, so I wanted to do just a quick overview on this. I know it's not the most exciting thing. If you don't even run, this probably doesn't apply to you, but if you do, follow along. Okay, the first self-adherent general wrap is from CVS right here. You want to take a look at that. And it's supposed to be good for um, finger and the wrist for one inch, ankle, foot, and elbow for two or three inches, um, which are recommended, and for knee or leg. And the first general wrap is actually from CVS. Uh, this is a three inch, which is mostly for ankle, foot, and elbow. If you get a one or two inch, that's for the finger or wrist. And if you get a three inch or four inch, that's for a knee and a leg. Same thing applies to the one from Walgreens. This is a three inch width as well. And it's good for uh, ankles, knees, and elbows. However, between these two products, unfortunately, the one from Walgreens right here, Walgreens Ace, is uh, three words piece of crap. Uh, I actually rolled my ankle yesterday and I ran out of this uh, one from CVS, put this on, I, left, I wrapped my leg overnight and um, in the middle of the night the wrapping actually just fell right off. Uh, it completely fell off. I didn't do anything. I just went to bed. I just had an exciting dream, whatever. I, I was in REM and this thing just fell off so this is no good. This is a waste. It, although, it said, although it advertises a self-adhering bandage, it's BS. It doesn't even hold well at all. The other bad thing about this thing is when you use it and you wrap it around your leg, usually the self-adhering bandages you can just rip off easily with your hand. But the first time I used this, I was going to the gym. I was already in my car, and after I wrapped my leg with it, um, I couldn't even peel it off with my hand. I couldn't rip it off. I didn't have any scissors so I had to literally use my canines and rip it off like a like Cujo and Stephen King. So this one, no good. This one right here, the CVS one, this is the one you want right here. This bad boy right here. It says self-adherent and it is. It wraps really good around your ankles, elbows, uh, wherever you need. And, with, and you don't have the same problem with this one when you rip it off. As soon as you wrap it and you tear it off it comes off really easily and it sticks really well so I definitely try to buy these in bulk when I can when I go to CVS. I really don't like going to CVS I don't know if you noticed but out in California every time I go to CVS there's only like one register open every time it doesn't matter how busy it is but there's always one register but despite that I'll suck it up because this is a very good brand to have so all you runners out there are you bow-legged people such as myself, bad, uh, bad gait and all that? Between these two, if you ever come across Walgreens and CVS, you want to get this one, okay? So uh, make sure you take care of your feet. Don't increase your mileage more than 10% per week. And um, stay motivated, stay hydrated. See you guys next time.